Good evening and welcome back to The Crust where it hasn't been very long at all since the last episode. This is still going here. However, I want to stop this and change it already. Already. Because we've potentially seen something that's wrong with it. So, let me get rid of this side here. And the reason I want to get rid of that uh, is because in a live stream yesterday we were having a look and um, playing things and, and I, I, I did didn't do this layout but we was have a look at how landing pads work and things and discovered that this won't work because it, it'll work it'll work fine however when a ship comes down to land uh, it comes down it lands it fills up it takes off takes about half a day to get away and another ship to come down and land again which means that for about half a day every day we have a contract we will not be filling the ships because they'll be taken off or landing so therefore, we want to have two of these. No, we want to have two of these, and I'm going to put a... Uh, um, if we put them right next to each other, and then we change up these ones as well. And put these like this. Um, and then what we'll do is we just want to have we want to have 18 surrounding this actually don't we hold on so uh we'll go what one two three four five six seven eight um 16 16 surrounding it 19 so um uh, we're gonna put obviously the ones up here that we had normally so um uh one two one two And then the ones along here, um, I mean, we could just come along and do this. And then, like that. And that's, there's our 16, with two landing pads in between. That also would technically let us put additional landing pads in. Um, so we could have up to four landing pads here, which I kind of like the idea of. Uh, but um, in, in in the in the live stream, basically, I had a landing pad here, and I decided to move it so we have three kind of surrounding this entrance here. And what was happening is the bots were going down, coming up, and they were grabbing stuff to fill up like one or two things, and uh, um, or grabbing one. It was taken off. They were going to do something. It would land. Then they'd finish up what they're doing, and come back again, and it would take like nine days or so to do about fifteen hundred iron or steel and bear in mind in my uh, other one my steel is actually it's not over here it's down here it's right close to the um the elevator so it's a short journey for them when i put two in it it more than half or more than half the uh time to do the same sort of contract so just by having not having the downtime ship so that they load one that ship takes off once that ship's taken off and going they're loading the other one and then that one takes off goes the other ship comes down and land i end up with three because it turned out that once you got above sort of about 20 haulers you could deal with three of them so i am kind of thinking that maybe we'll actually um do four landing pads in here so um we did this 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 and like this for instance and then we came along and went uh one two three and four i don't know if the drones can drive in between this it's my only drawback if they have to pick up here they have to drive around to get to this one or can they drive in between these i don't know might move this down uh so one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we was to move those ones up by one and down by one, that is a gap in between for bots to get round in between. And that lets us fall with 16 pot. We can then add additional storage down here for things. I mean, if we want slag, for instance, if we ever want to get rid of slag, uh, we could put slag down here, um, like a large container of slag could sit down here uh and that and that that i feel would work pretty well 
uh, and then we go with the elevators and we have to come along and we have to put the elevator in there which I can't do because something's in the way here but unfortunately I can't tell because um it's difficult to see in that window ah so it's that it's that that's in the way if I was to put the elevator right here for it, which I do want to do um we can move the elevator over slightly um I can't really move that because that is that's actually coming down oh that's actually coming down to the elevator so no we can get rid of that that is not actually required because that was coming down to the old elevator that we've now moved three four yeah boom. okay boom. so let's put the elevator in there and then we do exactly the same with the belts that we did for the other one so doop doop and doop like that but um i'm gonna use mark one belts at the moment did i use mark two belts over here honestly i cannot tell i think these are mark two belts no, they're not one belts, so we can upgrade them later if we need to, so that's fine. Uh, and then need to figure out what was what for this, didn't I? So, yeah. So, um, did we turn off the, um, oh, hello, what's happened there? Turn off, yeah, we turned off the outputs for this time, and then that'd be the same for this one. Turn off the outputs there. Okay, and then the next belt just has to, the next elevator has to go up here. And then one has to go here. And then those those are the ones we have to figure out where additional stuff is going to go to so like for instance i think these next four if i was to send them actually back down the line to here it would make a lot more sense for what we're doing um and then the next ones down here would come along to here or we could continue up um as is and then just run the belts along the top and down into this one which i think is what we're going to do so this would be the complicated one for here and then all other machines we make would come up and they would just split along and go to this one and then or split along and go to this one first and then next one afterwards which we can get in here so let's do that let's do that so we want to have an aluminium uh a steel a copper and a component link to this guy so see here if we went with you went to you can't go to there no because this is a belt that comes along for concrete okay let's see here let's see here what about if we went uh with let's see that's for that one there I have to do a mark two or we go this side for it yeah um so we'll go under there and pop up there we'll go under uh we'll go can't go under there we'll go under there and pop up there and this one will go under there and pop up we go under there and pop up there and you will go under there and pop up there i can't do oh that's okay like that. okay so you will plug into there you'll plug into there you're doing that already you plug into that one and you plug into that one and that still keeps you within the limits so when we do this belt along here it's not blocking anything off when we uh, this one over here it's not blocking anything off and this is the only one that has to go underground yeah okay so build that no don't build that yet um uh so break all of those and put them in, in the right places uh, 
doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? There. Like that. Because that's that should work. Because the... um. Does it really matter? No, it doesn't matter. Use the underground to save as much as you possibly can on the long. Don't know what I'm attempting to achieve there, but yeah. Okay. Uh, so you connect to that one, you connect to that one, you connect to that one, you connect to that one. Build all. You want to prioritize the bus over the elevator. Okay. Okay, bots, do your thing. We now need to make a bit more monies because we're struggling for monies, but that's okay. That's okay. So, um, how about we just go down the line from here and figure out what we've got. So, where did we start? We started with the rare earth metals. Rare earth metals, bricks, titanium, and silicon. So, we might go... Rare earth metals, uh, titanium, uh, do, 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 do bricks, and then your titanium, which is the odd one out of that one. Then, then want aluminium and steel. So steel. Uh, aluminium is there, but components because it's for aluminium, so we take components. And then we go with steel. No, it won't. Hold on. Steel. Components. I'm not sure why they sold this way. Aluminium. And then what was the fourth one? Oh, titanium plates. Oh, I'll keep pressing on buttons. Uh, so. And shift it to copy, control it to paste, shift, control, shift, control. And what that'll do is it will stop this uh, output. In the you can configure these to uh, only output the exact way you want them to output. So we could figure it like, you know, so. Uh, did not, for some bizarre reason, copy and paste. That's better. Okay. So we want uh, this one to be configured to be silicon. That's that one. This one is going to be rare metal. So the top one is going to be uh, silicon. That's really bizarre. That it doesn't show it when I put this up here. That's 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 weird. Uh, the next one is brick and then titanium. So this one is brick and this one is titanium. Okay, so they are all configured. It just doesn't show it in the configuration thing, which is strange. Uh, but then if we unfurl all these, oh hello, what have I done wrong here? You should not be sending, you should be rare earth metals. You should be brick and you should be titanium. Yep, yep, missed that one. Okay, drop everything. Away we go. Awesome. Okay. So now. Top one should be steel. Uh, I can't configure it to this build. Okay. Okay. Not enough power for the module. Oh yeah. Yeah, we turn that all off. Don't care about that.
interest not in prioritizing coming off the belt. But here. We very much need more titanium. What's wrong with this? This is aluminium. Aluminium is just completely backed up. Isn't it? Yeah. Can we prioritize this guy, please? See if we can't get ourselves that built and then maybe get the aluminium storage up here built. And then uh, when you uh, take contracts, so uh, let's have a look at contract. Um, so, you said, so like this guy, we've got a contract here. Um, if we want to send the resources, it just literally says landing platform. You can pick between landing platforms or the flight centers. And it doesn't matter. You, you don't name the landing platforms individually. You just pick landing platforms and it will pick whatever's free. So it will come to this one, this one, this one, this one. So, yeah, we don't need four. We could do, we could do it with three, but... What do you need that we don't have? You don't have titanium plates, such as a supply, a, a shock, a shock. All right. Um, is that because uh, we have no pickup, which makes sense? We have no pickup for titanium plates because these are just drop offs at the moment. Same as these. I think these are just drop offs. Yep. Yeah. So we have no pickups for them. The pickups are all going to be upstairs. So let's change this to be a pickup so we can actually build the elevators coming upstairs and get our base components going. Urgent contract available. Uh, we don't have them. So that's a pretty really nice contract though, but I can't afford to buy uh, 240 carbon because they are normally uh, expensive. So 200 carbon is 140,000 and we have 72,000 so I couldn't afford to buy that to even complete that contract which is a shame but hey ho all right okay so you are complete so oop. Gotta reconnect all of these guys up No idea how I'm going to have the, um, that's a pickup, that's a pickup. Maybe I'll just leave the, both of these as pickups up here. I should just do the center one so they only have this to go there, but there, that's, um, I really hope this is going to work. I could have shrunk this together by, like, one more tile by putting them right to each other, but it lets the stuff go through this way, so. Yeah. What can't you, what don't you have? You don't have micro circuits, because we don't have any micro circuits, do we? No. Okay, let's buy some micro circuits in because we're going to need those. They are expensive. E let's get 10 in. Go on. Because we need this system to do its thing. Push. Look at that. Apparently you're all locked. Excellent. Right. <clears throat> Boop. Okay. So this one is going to be for titanium. Uh, sorry, aluminium. And you may now you are unlocked. Hello, what's happened here? Oh, left with that one. Don't. Okay. So aluminium. The next one is titanium. So the that one's titanium. This one is components. So that one is components. And this one is iron or steel, sorry. So this one is steel. I do not like that it doesn't show them. I don't like that it doesn't show them. It doesn't give you an indication that it's been configured. Don't like that. Don't like that. Okay. Well, we built this. So I hope they'll come and build it soon. Um, these guys are not really a high priority, but oh, hey. there is only soil. Well, don't move 
Come on, I can't build this. It's finished. It's finished. You just need to try to come build it. Come on, Drake, what are you doing? What are you doing? Be this guy, would that, would that be okay? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone at all? Hey, there we go. Do, 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 New zoom. There you go, put on. Okay, so that allows the stuff to go through, shoot up, um, to the surface. And then come out and go into the things going there. Oh, let's build all of those guys. There you go, bump. So now you can feed them to there, which means our aluminium is now getting somewhere to go, which means our aluminium down here should start processing, which should be excellent. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I have no idea what order we're going to put the other boxes in. So, so we're going to leave them blank for the moment and we'll figure them out as and when we get to them. So, yeah, cool. Okay, okay. So that means we want to ramp up production. Do I want to finish this here and run the risk of possibly starting the uh, the laser thing now? Where are our miners and what are, they, what are they doing? They're up here, mining out a huge area. Huge area, which is fine, because we need a huge area. Um, how are we doing everything? So let's... Uh, urge a contract available, what do you want? We have that, we have that, 50 grand, I accept. Okay, send the lot. Um, I can't send it all in one ship, no, nah, boo. Okay, send all the silicon and all the silicon plates, go. So, if I then come out of this and go to um, one time speed, we'll notice two ships are landing over here. Plonk. And they want the stuff to come along. Now, silicon's here. Titanium's here, so our bots should be able to come along and do that. We can get rid of this landing pad for now, and here they come. I'm on one time speed, so that's why it's much slower now. So, um, But the bots will come along. They will pick up the stuff from these, and uh, we'll dump it into wherever they need to go to. Um, I think I'm going to leave the surface stuff, if they need to pick it up, to go downstairs and drop in downstairs ones. So um, there you go. Bom See, they've been to pick that up. So they're starting to fill this up here. Um, I don't know where they're going. This isn't a pickup. Nope, this is not a pickup. I don't know why. They might be picking stuff up off the floor. It's entirely possible they're picking stuff up off the floor. Uh, oh, what would help as well is if I actually made all of these a priority. So the, uh, the bots know, hey, if there's a ship here, I actually need to come and do this. Go faster as well. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why they're going downstairs. Where, where are you picking up from? You're picking up from on the floor. Yeah. Hmm. So it's not exactly working the way I wanted to, but that's because there's stuff on the floor. If there wasn't stuff on the floor, it would definitely be working better than it was. Um, but that's okay. That's okay, because we need more bots. That's the problem. We don't have that many bots doing things. We've actually got nine bots mining at the moment. I do not need that many bots mining. We can just have two doing their thing. We've got plenty of space here now. I think we could cut right back on the miners. Yeah. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. Let's... Um, let's... Uh, Also, let's get rid of this one here. We want the hauler bots, but I want to move these things. So everyone come back to being normal bots. Got another urgent contract? What do you want? Titanium for Earth? We don't have that much titanium, so no, not right now. Let's 
Right, get rid of those three. Uh, oh, you have. Oh no, you need repair. You haven't run out of stuff on the ground, have you yet? Can't tell. Uh, no, no in this. And then here we're going to have a thing going on here. So I want to put the cargo dock up high. Again, this is future knowledge here because. Uh, the maximum you can upgrade a multi wreck lift machine to is 240. So it goes one more upgrade, 240, which is a red belt, which is second one. So we've got um, normal gray, uh, yellow, red, blue, not sure. Um, but Mark, Mark 3 belt is uh, 240. Don't ask me why it goes 60, 150, 240, 450, 600. I don't know. I don't like it. Don't like it. Gotta be honest. Don't like the way that that works because um, it should go 60, 120, 240, 480, um, and then I mean, if it was super fast, so maybe not. Maybe not. Um, maybe it goes up like 120 every time. So 120, uh, 240, uh, 360, and then 480. But it doesn't. It goes up. We got the numbers anyway. Um, these can deal with 240, which is a Mark III belt. So we can have Mark V belts, which is 600. Unfortunately, two 240s are 480, and three of them is 720. So um, we can't do three. So it's, it's basically two to one. So if we have the cargo dock here, and it's got four outputs, that means we could have eight mega uh, multi regolith refineries connected to it, all running at full speed without any real problem providing we can deal with the slag offset. So that's kind of what I want to do. Um, so, yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. Research complete. Speak of the witch. There we go. So 160, 150, 240. So the inputs to these want to be 240. And then we want to have the elevator coming down up here somewhere. And uh, like one arm comes across goes into a storage here and that storage splits between the two because one arm will be 600 coming in or whatever coming in um, and then it splits between the two so we'll have one uh, container here maybe a super large one which feeds these two another one there another one there another one there eight multi regular machines one elevator four arms on it that's the plan that's the plan yeah um, it is also possible that we could have very much done uh, these um, uh, elevators with mixed belts on them and then filter the stuff upstairs. The problem with that is that if, say, for instance, one of the belts backs up, so say aluminium fills up, um, then it's going to stop all the other ones from doing anything they're doing. So I, I don't ever really like that idea. It's just I don't like multi-belts. So, um, yeah, but you're going to do your thing there. So you continue doing your thing there, and then we will probably mine out up here to get the multi red lift going. Um, and that's all going to be here. So underground here, we've got kind of a dead area. So let's put in some horning. Well, not a dead area, but let's put in some horning ones. Uh, no, let's put in the mining one first. So a mining drone one can live right. right here this side of the uh, thing i think that's no that would be in the way of this as it expands so put it here um and then we'll put in the holding ones above it not with a gap in between every two like that okay and then we go wires and we move you to there and you to there and then this one can feed these two this one can feed these two this one can feed the next two and that should be fine going up there we shouldn't have any more space there when this gets used up we could do more plus i think this is going to be enough um so the haulers are way better than the miners so if i was to grab 15 haulers and four miners right now um, how much are bots just out of curiosity, how much are they? Oh, they are capped. They are capped. I was having this the other day as well. They seem to robots seem to be expensive to get all the time now. It's 
rare they drop down so if you ever see them down at like forty thousand, buy them there and then just buy them as soon as you can because yeah um, so if i was to go 15 of those four of those and then five normal ones so one two three four let's do that for our current configuration um and then we'll convert these up uh what do you need you need micro circuits we don't have any micro circuits because they're probably been in use here or here no nope, they didn't get used anywhere in these ones so i'm gonna lower the priority of these guys um ah you use four of them okay so they get the stuff but they won't get the micro circuits when we buy some more in right now um <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, let's buy in thirty. They are they are down low. Um, in fact, they've been three thousand. So they are really cheap. So maybe I actually will buy like maybe fifty in or something, which is just over half our money. Yeah, uh, we could buy seventy, which is, or seventy five, which is a full cargo pod. Let's do that. Let's buy that. Boom. So we just brought 75 in. Dump that down there. Let's get rid of this landing pad. We don't need that. Uh, let's move our rover because our rover's been idle for far too long. Uh, what's this? Private lab? Oh, yeah. Um, and it's not getting any sites in whatsoever. So let's move this to be. You'll notice the icons have changed as well. And um, there's been an update. Let's change some of the icons and things. So. Um, investigate the transit station so you can uh, get some more sites going for us that'd be nice uh we've got 160 uh research there so that was the paid lab that was done there it's fine that our research did come to a stop for a bit because we just didn't have anything like we didn't have anything going on that we needed science for because we were sort of backing up on science as it would be um uh, so we want to get the we don't want to get any of these but we need to get them to unlock stuff down below uh i definitely want that and i really would like to get I don't think we're going to go with mushroom farms. It's going to be maybe hard. We'll, we'll, we'll see how the farms are going to go. Either way, we're going to leave this one here. We're going to come back in the next episode and we will continue off there. Hopefully this makes sense. I might have gone a bit overboard with it, but I'd rather have too many landing pads and not enough. Because um, it'll just make the drones just so much faster, so much better for us all. Um, and I'm going to say I'm going to go with loads of hauling drones. Uh, hauling drones are, can carry 10 things compared to normal drones that carry one thing. So you might as well have hauling homes. But hauling drones cannot repair things in any way, shape or form. So um, uh, if you need to repair or build something, you need a normal drone for that. So always have some, but you don't need as many. Haulers are just as effective, if not more effective. Uh, oh, we've got another elevator built. Um, you need modular frames, which we don't have any of right now. So okay what is one here we will come back next time we will carry on from there thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun